Hi, and welcome to this B1UP tips and tricks session. Today uh, is all about the B1 dashboards, but at the same time when you're running the Fury Cockpit. So you can turn them on, but what can you actually use them for if they're not there? So let's explore how you can still benefit from them. So here I am in my HANA system, which by the way is, disclaimer, quite slow. So uh, there will be a, a bit delay, but that has nothing to do with uh, showing it in this way. It would be the same if it, you were not running the Fury Cockpit. So we're using the Fury Cockpit, so of course we cannot see the normal background. You can have two, you can't have two backgrounds at the same time. And many people do this in order to get the, uh, the white and blue skin of Business One instead of the standard. Uh, yellow and, and grey skin. It's all a preference uh, perspective, which is the prettiest and so on. But the fact is, many people do this. So, if we go in and see in B1 up here and the configuration, you can see I still have B1 dashboard enabled. But yes, they're not showing up because it detects that you're running Fury Cockpit. So what can you use them for then? Well, the dashboards can still be accessed in various different ways. So for example, the BA, you can make a new menu structure that shows some of the dashboards themselves. So I can press sales here and show the sales dashboard. machine get going. So I have it as maximized, but you can have it as a window without needing to get rid of the Fury Cockpit. It has the exact the same functionalities as the, the widget themselves. Of course, there is no comment function, there is no OM item list because that's covered by the Fury Cockpit, but you can have these data in here. In the similar manner, you can take this purchase car system here and in my case I have to made it a bit different in that it's actually an external window meaning I can actually drag it outside business one or to a secondary screen if need be so that's also an, a possibility of doing this similar I can have my financials dashboard exactly in the same manner is showing up. So you can still leverage all the dashboards you have, just not as a background, but as windows here. You can also leverage the calendar. So let me go in and see the calendar here. We can see our full featured calendar either as a window, external, uh, internal, and still have the same drag and drop capabilities as the background calendar in there. For dashboards, we can also make them run off function buttons and so on, if we want to. So for example, if we look at this function button, go in, Right now it's running a SQL report, but we could just as easily make it run a dashboard. And it could, for example, be one of the dashboards and it can use dynamic syntax in order to get data so you could make a business partner specific dashboard. And this is how they, these uh, work. Essentially, I'm just using add and edit menus. Go in here. And in add and edit menus, I show some menu items, and they're just linking to various user universal functions. And the dashboards, you can choose, should they start maximized, normal, size of them, should they be internal or external in the system. Uh, so you des design how you want to do it. For the calendar, let's find that as well. It's also a universal function. 
and it's simply just exactly the same system. You can choose which calendar should be the default, and again, internal or external. From B1UP to 2020.08, we have also added it to Toolbox, so we can actually take over this calendar button up here. So once you use it for the first time, it will ask you, do you want to actually switch to uh, the B1 Ops version of the calendar? And if you do, you will get this calendar, which have the exact same data as we saw before. So that's what you can do inside the B1 client without needing to have it as a background. Another thing you can do is you can also see this data using a, a web view. So there's the web dashboard. And again, it doesn't require that you enable the dashboard or go to the old skin or whatever. They can be used despite uh, you running it inside the client or not. So I have it installed here. It's a separate install. There's separate e-learning on it. But you can see, I can see exactly the same information, sales, purchase, and so on, directly from a browser. Right now, it's an internal URL, but you can make it so it can be accessed from outside uh, the system as well. So in summary, there's a lot of different ways you can actually work with uh, with your, your data directly from uh, a HANA system, even despite of you running the Fury cockpit. It's, of course, not in the background, which is a benefit, of course, but if you find Fury cockpit is better, use it instead, uh, and uh, just leverage it in different ways throughout the system anyway. So with that, thank you for attending, and I hope uh, you find it beneficial.